Hello, Shake Talk world. Wow. Mm. Good morning. This is Barbie Lee. This is where we shake up your wake up with the best breakfast ever this morning. Um, I am on a, I ran out of vanilla, and so I put vanilla pro, so just our protein with um, uh, the chocolate mint, and it's so smooth. Oh, it's like, it's like, it's like chocolate melting in my mouth. It's fantastic. Um, so this is, this is the best breakfast ever, just saying. And I realize I haven't been on all week. So I apologize to those of you that are like, I love your talk. So I apologize. But you know how life gets in the way, right? And things happen and, and, and things just happen. And then I was like, oh, and like most mornings I was, my shake was in my hand as I'm heading out the door. So it happens. So here I am. And today we're going to talk about, do you know we're almost halfway through 2018? Like Sunday, right? Sunday's Canada Day. That's like halfway through 2018, July 1st, right? I'm like, holy Toledo, where did these last six months go? Well, I know I spent the first three months in Mexico, so that kind of, you know, disappeared. But then I'm like, oh my gosh, another three months. And then there's going to be another three, and then another three, and then we're going to be over with 2018. And it's amazing how life just keeps moving forward. Mm. No matter what's going on in your world, no matter what's going on at work or in your family or whatever, life keeps moving forward. And it's amazing. Like if you really stop to take a moment and look, it's amazing. So I want to tell you about experience last night. We did a uh, full moon rooftop meditation um, at the Matart yesterday. And there's about 18, 20 of us that were there. And when we first got there, there was these big clouds and they were dark and they were kind of stealing the sun every once in a while. And I'm like, it's okay, we're meditating. We'll clear the skies because I want to be able to see the moon later, right? So we did a about a 40-minute meditation. And by the time everybody opened their eyes, perfectly blue sky. Not even a little, not even like these little bounty cloudy puffs right here. Nothing. Perfectly blue sky. And we're like, there it is, right? Set the intention, put some energy towards it, and boom, there it is, right? And that's what happened last night. And it was a wonderful experience. Oh, I didn't turn off my phone. Sorry about that. Um, it was a wonderful experience because we have these people who came to get grounded, to get centered, to get connected. And we moved. Like, we changed the weather, <laughs> you know? So my point is this. We're halfway through 2018. What are you setting the intention for, right? So many people look at, New Year's Day or New Year's Eve, you know, it's this big time to set intentions, to set New Year's resolutions and stuff like that. What about July 1st? What about any 1st? What about any Monday? What about any Tuesday? Just saying. But this gives you your halfway opportunity to say to yourself and to the universe, all right, here's what I want. So I'm going to challenge you to treat July 1st, which is a Sunday, which is a great time, right? Because you can make all your plans on Sunday and most of you are off on Monday. So you have to start your whole um, uh, new half year, right? We're going to call it happy new half year. And you get to start your new happy half, happy, <laughs> that's hard to say, happy half year any way you want, right? You see in my, um, what are those called? Hashtags, I always put 2020 vision. I put that on so much because I want, I am, the forefront of my mind is my 2020 vision. Um, two things, right? I want my eyes to get better, so I'm thinking about that, right? And for where do I want my life to be or what do I want my white, that life to look like starting in the year 2020? In 2020, I'm going to be 51. Ah, I know, it's crazy. Taylor Ray is going to be 21. Wright Dell is going to be 24. and Well, she'll be 24 at the end of the year. And I'm like, okay, my kids are grown and they're beautiful, amazing young adults. And now it's mommy's turn, right? So I'm going to leave you with this little story. I went to a conference on the weekend and it was the New Thought Conference. And it was spectacular, like really spectacular. And there was a beautiful woman, uh, Stephanie Staples, who was speaking. And she does a podcast. And so she was saying that. She talks to people and she asks them a question 
at the end of their podcast. And sorry, I'm just looking for my book and no, I don't have, it. I can't remember the exact question, but more or less, you know, what's your one life piece advice for people? And she was interviewing this woman and this woman is like, oh my God, I've got it. I need a pen and a paper. So I'm grabbing a pen and a paper. So she's like, give me a pen and a paper. Give me a pen and a paper. So she's like, okay, I'll give you a pen and a paper. So she did this. She goes, this is your life. You're born and then you die. And in your life, you have four quarters, right? This first quarter, pretty much your parents tell you what to do and your friends tell you what to do, right? Because you're young, you're growing up. So your parents and your friends tell you what to do. Your last quarter, your kids tell you what to do because you're getting old and they're taking care of you. So your kids tell you what to do. And in your second quarter, all the decisions are made around your kids, your family, your job. So all the decisions are made here by your parents. All the decisions here are made for your kids, for your job. All the decisions here are made by your kids. That leaves this quarter just for you. You get to make all the decisions. What are you going to do? And I was like, oh, I love that. Because officially next April, I'm in that third quarter. My kids are grown. It's all about me. It's a beautiful day. What am I going to do? So I'm focused on my 2020 vision. So I am going to celebrate. Happy half new year. I guess it wouldn't really be a new year. I'm just going to call it happy half year on July 1st. And I'm going to do what I do, which is set my intentions. Oh, Laura's on a cleanse day. Yay, Laura. I'm on a shake day. Don't look. Don't look if you're having a cleanse. So I'm going to look at July 1st as happy half year. And I'm going to set my intentions. And I'm going to treat myself as if I give a crap about what's going to happen for my next quarter. And even my next quarter. And then I plan on having a fifth quarter, just so you know. Not sure how that's going to work. Oh, when you did that, little hearts came out of my shake. <laughs> Do it again. Do it again. Hit the heart button. Hit the love button. Because then it comes out of my shake. I don't know, that's what I see. I don't know what you saw. Anyways. Anyway. All right. So my challenge to you, celebrate happy half year. Look at your life. Decide. Ah, thank you, Richard. Happy half year to you, too. See, look, it's coming out of my shake. <laughs> look, it's so fun. Look at that. Woo! Anyway, so happy half year, right? Take a couple of days. Make a plan, right? Don't frivolously live your life of just, uh, make a freaking plan. All right, everybody. Have a great day. Best breakfast ever. If you're not having one and you're in Edmonton, Saturday morning I'm doing a free breakfast sample. You can come on over. All right. Have a beautiful day, everybody.